Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 31 of C programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, you're going to be learning about multidimensional arrays, which is basically a fancy way of saying an array inside of an array. And um, if you already know what an array is, which most of you probably do, or hopefully do, um, you shouldn't have much of a problem with this. So to get started, um, we're just going to create a normal array. So we'll create an array S and we'll hold 20 elements inside of that. And you know that this can hold 20 characters. And um, that works fine for uh, some of the things that we do. But what if we want to have a collection of these 20 characters or uh, something like the dictionary where we can hold something where we can hold uh, like 20 different sets of words or something or you know 100, 100 different sets of words something like that so that's where multi-dimensional arrays come in so what we can do is we can create something like this we could say s and 5 and then we could say 20 right after this and basically what this means is that we could have five containers of 20 characters so that means s0 would have 20 characters s1 would have 20 characters s3 and all the way up to s4 you know would have 20 characters inside of it so um, if we want to assign uh, something to this by using fgets, we could just use s0. Instead of just saying s, we could say s0 to be more specific on where we're holding this. So that means the zeroth element in this, but the zeroth element has 20 characters. So s0 actually actually has 20 characters inside of it. So if we assigned, um, if we or if we use fgets to this, we would be assigning uh, to the 20 characters that s0 holds. So to make this a little more clear we're gonna use an example of um, basically a collection of magazines. So I've already created a header file here and I taught you how to make header files in the last tutorial but uh, this is my header file which has two pound defines. One is knum magazines which holds uh, basically five magazines inside of it and kmax name which is going to be the number of characters each magazine can hold. So now I'm going to create my array and I'm just going to call it mag and I'm going to say k num magazines to hold five total magazines and then I'm going to say k and I will say k max name for the hundred characters that we can hold for each one of those magazines. So now if I go to run app gets I, all I have to say is mag, and I'm going to I'm going to enter this information into the zeroth element. So mag zero again will hold uh, these hundred characters, which is defined by kmax name. So mag zero actually has hundred characters inside of it. So now all I have to say is kmax name for the hundred characters that I can possibly enter, and standard input for our last part there. So now, uh, if I go to print this out, we would do the same as we normally would, percent %s as a string, and I would just say mag0, again, because this is the zeroth element, but it's a multi-dimensional array, so mag0 actually holds 100 characters of information. So now, let's go ahead and run this program. So I'll run it, and fgets is running right now, waiting for me to enter something. So I'll say sports, and then again, you can see that the printf prints out sports once again. So now um, that we've now that we've learned that, um, I'm basically going to talk to you about um, what uh, what the downfalls are to this, or uh, what are ways that we can improve this. So um, let's say you're making a program for a customer, and you want um, them to be enter, or they can enter their entire magazine catalog. But what happens when they have more than five magazines? Um, you're going to run into major problems, obviously, and they're going to complain to you that they can't enter any more than five magazines in your crappy program. So um, you're saying probably right now that, well, I could just change Kingdom magazines to equal five or 500 or something like that, so that you know most people would never have 500 magazines. But what if they do? And uh, you're still breaking that. And on top of that, um, 500 times 100, that's a lot of bytes inside of your program. And there are better ways to hold this. And basically, 
our next tutorial is going to be on uh, creating your own data types which allows you to create your own memory as you go so as you uh, you don't have to start with any memory if you don't have anything but we could create a new magazine and we'll just create new memory for it and then if we want another magazine we'll just create more memory for it basically um, our next tutorial is going to be on how we can start to create our own memory and uh, the tutorials from here on out are going to get pretty interesting and uh, no better way to stay in touch with all the new stuff that comes out than just subscribing to the channel. Um, more tutorials are going to be coming and uh, they're, I'm constantly making more of them so basically what I'm saying is just subscribe to the channel and uh, on this tutorial if you have any questions on um, anything that was covered or you don't get anything just leave them uh, any questions in the comments or send me a message if you don't want to leave them in the comments for whatever reason. Alright, so I'll see you next tutorial.